my grandson, Joshua, wanted a chicken tractor. And uh, my son-in-law, his, his dad, needed for it to be pretty so that it wouldn't be an eyesore in the backyard. So here we go making the project. Uh, start off with a concept drawing. I always uh, just get an idea of what I want it to look like. And then I decide on the size, you know, how big does it need to be, how many chickens we're going to put in it, and that kind of thing. So we make those kind of decisions. And I reviewed all these decision-making process with Joshua so that he'd understand why I come up with the numbers, uh, how big to make it. I wanted to fit in the back of a pickup truck between the wheel wells, so I made it 42 inches wide. And, and uh, I think it's like 77 inches long or something, 84 inches long. So, um, uh, and we put put the design to it on the CAD system I use, the drafting software I use on my Mac. But also do some pencil drawings as I figure out how, what materials I'll need, exactly how am I going to do, you know, assemble the thing and make it work. I'm, I'll, I'll do scribbling on paper. And between the printouts and that, I, I was ready to go. So what I did was, before I went down and got the grandkids to come up and help me, I was going to get my older three grandchildren to help me with this project. I went and bought the materials, um, got them measured out and started sawing up. This is this is dirty work. It's dusty and loud, and I didn't think the grandchildren would really care much about being in the shop with all the noise and dust. So before I went to pick them up, a uh, two-and-a-half-hour drive down there to pick them up and bring them back to Henderson, I uh, wanted to go ahead and get some of this material sawed up and, and just taken care of. That way they didn't have to worry about it. And, and I ended up having enough time to do some of the sub-assembly work. As you'll see, I put together the, the side panels and the end panels and cut some of the boards. I misfigured the material as often I do, but I got two by fours laying around and stuff. I was able to uh, rip one of them and make, make what I needed there. I also wanted to use up all the material be as efficient as I could, so I'm, I'm making a a scab here. I took I took some boards that would drop off pieces that just weren't long enough, and I I cut them so that putting scabbing them together they'd be they'd be long enough. That's what I'm doing here, just scabbing the pieces together. That way I used up all the material, didn't waste anything, and uh, it's on the inside, so it wouldn't be anything that would be seen. So it's not that bad. So here, here I'm using a nail gun. This was a mistake. Everything else I, I did with screws, but I shot a nail through my little finger. That's the nail there, and it went right through my little finger. Missed the bone. Um, that's a picture Janie took of it. I soaked it in salt water, and it, it was fine. Um, got to, It's all healed up now. And, uh, well, you want to practice? I'm, I'm recording it. Janie wanted me to wanted to know if I was actually recording this now, and I am, so, <laughs> which is okay. Um, so anyway, back to the thing, we, we I soaked it and uh, got it got it all ready to go. We got, uh, we got the uh, side panel there, and I'm assembling a second side panel, and got that uh, all together. The, I um, uh, wanted to get to, to a point where Basically, when the kids got there, we just basically assemble it and then give them time to paint it and do, the, do their part. So, uh, you know, Josh could have helped me with all this, but as much as I could get done, we, I, they we're going to have a lot of time with the grandkids there, so I wanted to be sure that we got the project finished uh, in time. So, and just assembling the second uh, second side this panel. Got the um, stuff there, put screws in it. Yeah, everything else has been. I, I didn't use the nail gun uh, after a shot nail through my finger. I didn't use the nail gun anymore. I just uh, went ahead and screwed everything together. That worked really well. If he ever does have to take it apart, it's just a matter of uh, taking screws out. Okay. After getting the side panels done, I'll start doing the end panels. I got one in my hand there. I place them up on the ends. These are the two end pieces. One will be covered solid with uh, with wood and have a door in it. And the other one will be covered with uh, the eave will be covered with material. But I'll uh, I'll just have the wire over the end. So I just screw the rafter onto that. And cut the cut the the end pieces um, for the eaves 
on the one end and uh, the solid piece for the, the other end. In the middle of this piece, you'll, there'll be a door in the middle of this piece here to, for accessing the chickens. Here I'm screwing the, just pre drill some holes and screw the rafter on there. Screw the, the board to the thing. When we picked up the grandkids, had a good fun time playing Wahoo with them that night. And the next morning we'd go to the shop and start working. Had a good time. Enjoy playing the games with the kids. I don't like them playing, watching movies and playing video games. I'd rather spend some time with them, uh, quality time with them. So here we're back in the shop, and I got Jason, uh, I'm sorry, Joshua started assembling, and I put the girls outside painting my breakdown table, breakdown picnic table that I had, that I hadn't painted it. So while they're while they're outside painting, uh, he's inside uh, assembling the the piece, and so they they got that they got that all painted up and gave them something useful to do. And it looked really came out really nice. They were they were they didn't get as much paint on them uh, as they did when they paint this thing red. Here's the, here we are assembling it. Got three three walls and two rafters up, and it's all screwed together in the corners and at the bottom. Those roses were really pretty this year. Uh, running back and forth to the house, I just had to stop and take a picture of that rose. Here Joshua put the nest boxes in. This is two nest boxes inside here. And we've got the door mounted there as you can see. Hannah demonstrating how the door works. <coughs> Alright, I gave him a, a gallon of red paint and a roller and a brush and, and turned them loose. They got, it, they got it all painted and they got quite a bit on themselves too. Uh, I just stood back just and didn't want to keep I wanted to get the paint on it, uh, it was starting to get dark, and, and I wanted the paint on there, let it dry overnight, and then we put that white roof on it. I didn't want paint on the white roof, so I wanted to get it all painted uh, and let it dry overnight. And then the next morning we, we put the roof on it, and you'll see here in a moment. It was dark by the time we got through and had turned the flood light on. This next morning, uh, we'd moved it down to the, to the, um, got, went outside, it was raining a little bit, and we got the vinyl, this is white vinyl corrugated roofing material, and uh, we put that on there and got it lined up and screwed on. All the lack after this will be putting the wheels on it, which Joshua and I did the next day we or so afterwards I think actually was three or four days later we we had the uh, we built the wheels assemblies and put them on there you'll see that demonstrated in okay there we are next to the thing all finished assembly all relaxed putting the wheels on it <coughs> Ruth trying it out. We lifted it up and put it on the trailer and uh, took it down to the cottage. I wanted to have it out of the side of the road. And so we put it out, we unloaded off the trailer, and then a few days later we put the wheels on it. Joshua wanted to give it a try, uh, wanted to put a chicken in there, so he went and caught one of the chickens out of the other chicken tractor and stuck him off in there just to give it a try. And there's much the chicken tractor next to my old tractor. Here are the wheel assemblies. We 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 bolted these bicycle wheels to that two by four basically, and then bolted the two by four to the chicken tractor. So what you do is you raise that up 90 degrees, and and uh, it lifts the tractor up. You'll see them uh, doing that here in a moment. Uh, there they are in place, all assembled. You pull the little peg and lift them up. As Jonathan there in the picture. Uh, you know, Joshua just uh, he got one side raised up on the other side and he lifts this side up, put the, put the pin in it, 
and um, then it rolled it away. And it rolls really easily. It moved very easily. And he could easily have rolled around the yard. So it's all done. So it was a good time. We had enjoyed doing this. We celebrated by having a fire that night. Uh, it was cold. And uh, kids roasted marshmallows uh, while Scott played the violin. And kids love roasted marshmallows. So we had a good time sitting around the fire talking about things. And kids had a good time. Had a great time with him. One chicken tractor done.